Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, I am so excited. I, I know I, I say that in a lot of my videos, um, but I really am excited. This is something I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time. And uh, uh, today we are, just like the title suggests, we're changing up a little bit of the interior and putting on the SRT Hellcat uh, paddle shifters on my 2016 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. So, I hope you enjoy. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, just before we begin, I know what you're thinking. Uh, you know, everybody who does this kind of stuff, you know, it, there's been a lot of people to do it already. Uh, either changing out just the paddle shifters because it's $100 from uh, Steve White Motors or uh, changing out their entire steering wheel for the SRT steering wheel. Um, I didn't feel like going the three, $400 route yet. Um, Something I might do in the future, I don't know. But uh, I'm, I'm really excited to get the, the uh, paddle shifters changed out. The stock ones are just really small. They're hard to, that you fumble around to find them if you're using them. I just don't like the way they look. So we're gonna change it. And again, I know other people have done this. Um, I've used some of the other guys on YouTube as reference. To do it but i wanted to do it myself and i wanted to bring you along for the journey so without further ado okay so real quick you'll need a t10 a t20 and a ratchet and 10 millimeter socket for the uh, negative power terminal on the battery <clears throat> these are the boxes that the the shifters come in Pretty uh, standard packaging, I would assume. Here's their uh, information. And like I said, I'll, uh, I'll leave the link down below for uh, Steve White Motors. But absolutely awesome. I think it only took like two days to get here. It was really quick. And uh, I, I think it's gonna look awesome. So let's get them installed. Okay, so got the uh, airbag out without it blowing up in my face, which was really nice. <laughs> um, and what I'll tell you is the distance between, let's see if I can get this, this hole, which I just took the, uh, the T10, let's see if it'll focus, T10 screwdriver. This is very soft right down here. So even though the, the shank of the, the screwdriver <clears throat> is thicker than the head, the head is just what you need to fit right here. So <clears throat> in watching a couple of the guys' videos, you know, obviously this portion is recessed into the housing. I'm trying to get a good angle. There we go. Uh, it's recessed in there, right? And then you can see the little hole right there. So if I come on this side and block that, thought I was doing it, there we go. No light, light. No light, light, see that? <clears throat> and it's on this side as well, right down there and what you're doing it's about a 45 degree angle roughly going up in here again trying to get the, the light to focus there we go and then you're going to come up about that far so an inch inch and a half roughly and what you're doing is coming up 
into this recessed area, this little half moon recessed area right there. You're coming up and you're pushing that tab, this tab right here. So you can get better light on this situation. So this tab is the same thing as this right here. This little guy, this spring retention clip holds everything inside. All right, so moving on. All right, now we're taking our T15, I believe. Let's see if we can find the right tool. <clears throat> T15. And I'll put a picture up of what we're unscrewing. So it's, there we go, it's torqued on pretty good. So just be ready for that. And it's in the actual cutout of the stock paddle shifters. And just like that, it pops out. And this is our screw, you know, inch long. And we do the same thing on this side. Here. Okay, so if you see, let's see if I can get the best lighting. So, hang on just a second. No light, light. Okay, so as you can see, the paddle shifter wiring feeds right down in here. So it's this one. I mean, it may be oriented a little bit different. What you can actually do just to make life a little bit easier for you is take this out. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's just this cluster, little, uh, probably another T10 or T15 right here. And then slide this wire bundle back behind. So let's, let's shoot the middle, T20. So a lot of these components are torqued on pretty good. So just make sure you put them on back just as tightly. Now that I have this off. Another thing, so that screw goes in here. Those screws are for the uh, the backside back here. So just make sure you keep your hardware separated. So we have this little tab right here. Sorry, my fat fingers in the way. That tab. Just release that. And hopefully this thing slides off. I have no clue what I'm doing. Now there's a fly in my car. That's awesome. Ugh. All right, so in an effort not to break anything, let's just continue on. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing somewhat. Uh, taking this wiring harness Gently moving this plastic tab. Okay. Bring it back in. Okay. So now we have this wiring harness and a little connector. We'll just disconnect it, route everything back through that hole, and then pull this one out, feed the new one in, and uh, repeat on the next side. So let's do that. Okay, so just real quick, I uh, wanted to stop the time lapse. Uh, two things. So there's a screw that goes right there, and that's why we couldn't get 
this out so before you snap any plastic rings uh, or tabs pull that out it's a t20 um, so we can just see everything matches up down here in the in the housing right but look at the the difference little stubby big massive paddle shifter it's crazy so flip them over again they are identical down here in the lower portion, but up here, substantially different. So it can be a lot easier to uh, grab this thing. It's just gonna overall really give an, uh, an aggressive look. All right, y'all. So just like that, we now have SRT powered paddle shifter. Um, okay. So one thing you probably saw me reach. I don't know if you noticed or not. Uh, I had to make sure that these cable or these uh, harnesses were both behind this stud, tucked up all nice and neat, right back in there. That area behind, just so as not to get in the way of the airbag. So now you look and see everything is tightened up, back in. Uh, I think I said that the, the screws on the back side were uh, T25, but they're not. They're T20. So that one this one oops, sorry. This one that actually holds the uh, the whole assembly back here on, and the one that's underneath here, um, are all T20. And we just use the uh, the T10 to push the the tabs. So let's get this uh, hooked back up, put the negative battery terminal back on, and go from there. All right, coming back around to the uh, the trunk area, as you can see, we have the negative battery terminal. I know we did that at first. Um, so here's hoping that uh, the car doesn't doesn't explode on us. That'd be really nice. All right, lights are back on. Car is making noises. Hopefully, that's a good thing. Now, anytime you do uh, something that's gonna change uh, the functionality of the car, I know you're supposed to disconnect your battery, i.e. if you take your factory air intake off. Let's put that up there. Um, we'll get all this closed back up. Sorry, one-handed. Drop that back down. Shame on me. Okay. Floor liner. Who I need to vacuum this thing. Alright, let's go ahead and see how uh, everything works. Normal start screen looks good. Got the uh, flash beam. All right, so everything looks to uh, still be good with it. Hang on just a second. Let's do this a little smarter. So the front defroster is on. Um, it did mess with the, the climate controls, but my memory recall was right for my seat and everything, the, the position that I like it. Okay, there we go. All my Sirius XM stuff looks right. Um, cool. Let's make sure these bad boys work. Manual mode engaged. Hold the plus paddle to exit. Second, 
Shift not allowed because we're not moving. Back down to first, second, first. Cool. Make sure it didn't mess this up. Shift not allowed. There we go. Back to drive. Awesome. I couldn't have gone any better. And I think it took me about 45 minutes to do. I was really fortunate with finding these tabs under here. So uh, chalk this up as a win. I absolutely love it. It doesn't change the shape of the steering wheel, I know. Double check, make sure all this is good. My airbag's not flying out at me. Volume works. Okay, so really embarrassing. I almost forgot because I put them down here and hit them for myself. Is these little tabs, they just cover up the uh, the back, back here. And that's not the right side. Okay, let's do this side. So, oh, I really am a dummy. Okay, so goes in vertical just like so. Take it. Oh, today is just not my day. Looking like a bonehead. So this will also be the first part that you do. You just line it up like that and push it in. Clips in just like that, gives you a nice clean appearance back here. No problems. I'll do it for this side. Slide the, the flat portion in, rounded side, push. Nice and clean. Awesome.